holidays and a Merry Christmas? And do you dream of selling every prospect and customer you meet? I know that I do. Most distributors sell a very low percentage of new customers. And in today's webinar, I am going to try and show you how to sell every prospect and customer in 2020. But before we get started, we have to thank the suppliers that pay for these webinars. All of them are shown on the screen. They are all suppliers that I have dealt with for years. I would not have any supplier involved in my webinars that was not up and up or who did not treat distributors properly. I bought placed orders with all of these distributors, all of these suppliers, and not one of them will ever do you incorrectly. So in 2020, let's start off by making the pledge that we're never going to take no for an answer because we're not going to have no's because we're going to learn how to sell everyone we deal with. Now, 50% of distributors at best run marginal businesses. Those are distributors who sell their brother-in-laws, maybe their next door neighbor. Every once in a while they make a sale, they cut their prices to do so, and they just don't operate a business the way that I would if I was looking to sell everyone that I met and everyone that I dealt with. So be part of the 50% who take business seriously. Do this correctly. And as you're seeing in the ad for the webinar to the left, learn how to answer objections and create solutions that make it possible to sell every contact that you meet. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. But let's remember to take notes. If you'll get out a pen and paper, I've got some valuable email addresses from suppliers who have great offers and coupons. I don't want you to miss out on them. Three of those would be shown on the screen right now. The great uh, 3M offer for post-it notes with your logo on it. Quickie is a wonderful supplier. There's a free die charge from them and AdMatch has a variety of products that will make you successful. And there's a free setup charge from them. For those of you that don't know me, I've been in the promotional products business for a very long time. My distributor card, Don Sanders Marketing, is shown on the screen, as is my sellpromoproducts.com card. I have been in this business for more than 35 years, and I have tried to do it correctly. As a business, not as a part-time seller, I've sold a good bit of promotional products. I think $24, $25 million worth. Gosh, I've been doing this for a long time. I should have sold a bunch of it, but the thing that I'm most proud of is I averaged over 43% profit on my orders. I've been an industry speaker. I don't sell as many promotional products as I used to because now I operate this website, sellpromoproducts.com, that makes these webinars possible, but I still sell orders just like you do. But before we get started, if any of you have holiday orders that you're not finding a good solution for, Southern Plus is a great supplier that I deal with. They have 24-hour holiday service right now on over 200 products from umbrellas to chairs, which you can use for tailgating, and a great selection of tote bags. I will speak for them highly. They are a great supplier. It's Kathy at southernplus.com if you need to have any information on what they can do for you, but they will do things for you before. December 25th. Now, how to sell every prospect in 2020? Gosh, that's a really good question. But to do that, you've got to have goals, you've got to have plans, and you've got to have actions. These are not words that I've just made up that I've copied from somebody else. A lot of distributors don't have goals. They don't have plans. They don't even know what they're going to do tomorrow, much less for the next year. And they certainly don't take actions. They don't email pr properly. They don't call people enough. They don't stay in contact with them. And one thing you've really got to do, or two things, is that you've got to do those things, three things, while providing follow-up and satisfaction. The way you find awesome clients, which is where you need to go to sell every prospect you meet, are awesome clients. And you're only going to find those by offering follow-up and satisfaction action to people that you sell. 
Now you're going to create those buyers by stopping objections. I'm going to tell you how to do that. How to be creative. You've got to have a st strong brand. Don't say you're a cheap seller or I've got a million products. Make contact constantly. That means you've got to contact people frequently, not so much to be a pest, but in a way that they know that you're always around. One important thing is I don't say, I don't sell for mega suppliers. A lot of these big suppliers are gobbling up medium to small suppliers and they're ruining them because their customer service people flip all the time and they're always training new customer service people and you can't get them to do rush orders or they will not respond to you. You've got to be a product expert, frequent with social media, an idea originator, and you've got to be a professional networker. That means you've got to go to an event and know how to talk to somebody and attract them. And if you want to be an idea originator, Harvey Mackler, who sponsors these webinars, is one of my favorite people in this industry. He's just come out with seed paper coffee wraps. I just got this last week to put in the web webinar. So if you'd like to have a, a sample of that product, email harvey at jimpire.com. There's also a great uh, Jimpire coupon there. But this is a great product for anybody right now if you're selling coffee bars, universities or when the spring comes up for Earth Day. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that in, in this webinar, but that seed paper coffee wrap. I've never seen those before. I think that's a way cool product. Now let's talk about branding. I talk about this in every one of my webinars. I brand myself with shoes. I've had 10 different brands since I've been doing this. I change my brands frequently. It gives me a way to tell my customers that I'm always thinking about new ideas and you're looking at the Swami on the screen, get it, Dave, da, da, get it done, Dave, Princes of Promotion, the Promotion Genie, those are all other distributors besides me who have come up with created brands. I use shoes. I wear colorful shoes. I started wearing these at shows that I spoke at, ASI, PPAI shows, and I wore those to get attention, and that gum, if they didn't get me more attention, I could stand. So I made them the brand of my marketing company and my website, sellpromoproducts.com. So look at making your brand a little more pertinent. Now, let me tell you one way to get attention. This is a little strange, but box matches from AdMatch. There's the one that AdMatch has done to me. People say, Don, why in the heck would you be selling matches? Nobody's supposed to smoke anymore. Well, I don't give matches to my customers or prospects for smoking, even though there's a big market for cigar shops and people that do smoke. This is a great item to give to somebody. And so you remember back in the fall when the Carolinas were flooded and all the power went out? You probably are not going to need these anytime, or you might not ever need them, but when you need them, you're going to thank me. And when I give these to people, they go, Don, that's just a great idea. You can also light fireplaces with these. Think out of the box, and you can email Phil at adMatch.com, and he'll talk to you about doing matches with your logo on it. And remember, when needed, you will be remembered. That's how you sell, is when you are needed, you've got to have people remember you. A little strange item to begin, but I think it's a great self-promo item, just like bottled water. I've been using bottled water forever, and I'm going to talk about selling bottled water at length. But if you'll look at that label on the screen right now, that is me with Santa at Leonard's Department Store. My goodness, I couldn't tell you how long ago it was, but I did special holiday or Christmas bottles of water with that logo on it and my are those pictures on it and you cannot believe how many people said don you are such a nice looking little boy what in the world happened to you it's kind of funny but it's kind of true but i did these to get attention and man i am telling you they did that for me and there's my regular self-promotion bottles 12 ounce and 16.9 on the screen from alexa springs with my shoes on it but if you'll think out of the box like this, remember, just like with the matches, you will be remembered. And alexasprings.com is where you go for this. And if you want to know about self-promotion samples, email brian at alexasprings.com. I'm in Dallas. They're in Coppell. They're the best water company in the industry. And here's a thing that you can start showing car dealers. I bet you haven't thought about calling on car dealers and vehicle dealers and showing them new business cards for their salespeople. I know if when it's hot, if I go out on the lot to look at a car, I'd much rather have a bottle of water to drink while walking around and looking cars out in the sun. Or if I'm in the dealership 
and somebody says, well, here's my card, a bottle of water like you're seeing there for Austin Infinity. Isn't that a more creative card than some little paper business card that so many people give away? I don't use paper business cards. I haven't in more than 20 years. But that is a little way to show yourself with an auto dealer that you're thinking ahead. And auto dealers buy a lot of bottled water. Good way to call on them. And there's a great skip a column coupon from Alexis Springs. Now, another thing that I've used is Claw Promotions. They came in the business 10 years ago. They're original originator of Lynn's cleaning cloths. I am pitching them hard because their cloths clean. I use them for business cards. You can see the two that I've had on this, I've had recently with the shoes folded up there to the right under 10 years or now. But the newest ones that I just came out with are the gray background. I just got 250 of those. Whenever I meet somebody, I ask them for their phone or their glasses. I pull out that lens cleaning cloth. I clean the phone. I clean their glasses. I fold it up. I put it back in the pouch and I just come out and ask them, how many of these do you want to buy with your logo on it? I actually get orders that way. This is a great calling card. And let's talk about objections now. Objections are true career killers. You've got to stop objections before they stop you. Let's look at that guy right there on that screen, thumbs down. Do you have clients do that to you? Well, they're doing that to you because you're not handling them correctly. On the screen is a great cloth promotions coupon. There's that quickie die screen, try charge and drumline American made products out of Stuttgart, Arkansas. And I'm going to tell you that Stuttgart, Arkansas is the home of the world duck calling contest held in November. Did not know that, but that is the truth. Now you stop objections by knowing four things. Distributors do not know these things when they work on orders. Biggest mistake they ever made. Never work on an order unless you know how much, how much do you want to spend? How many do you need? When do you need them? And the purpose of promotion. Most distributors work on orders. They don't even know answers to two of them. I know this is true because distributors email me all the time asking me for ideas. Don, I've got a dry cleaner I want to sell. What do you think that they, uh, what do you think I should show them? I'll say, well, how many do they want to buy? Well, I don't know. Well, when do they need them? I don't know. Well, if I don't know these things, I can't show them the right products. That's how you get objections started, by showing them things that can't be delivered or giving them undue expectations. So never, and I mean never, work on an order. And when you tell somebody and they say, well, I only know three of them, say, well, when you know the fourth one, let me know, because I want to make sure I serve you correctly. And those three suppliers at the bottom there, Drumline we've talked about, Quickie, and there's Pepco in Wharton, Texas. All three of those suppliers are U.S. made, and that is important, and I'm going to tell you why later. Now, everybody asks me, who does my web, my website for me? Where is it hosted? Well, it's hosted with, hosted with Distributor Central. I've known Distributor Central since they started in 2001, I believe, about the same time I started my website. They have the sharpest industry programmers, and you should never use an ineffective web host. And there are several. Their product selections are bad. They're ornery to deal with. You can't navigate them. But with Distributor Central, you never have that problem. I use them for my web hosting. And Tiffany Tar, T Tar, at distributorcentral.com. Tiffany will do a web demo for you. She is a fine person. And also, we're going to talk about company stores that Distributor Central has in a moment, because if you're not dealing with company stores, you need to be. And here's a great offer from Distributor Central. I help Trainer Graphics. They're a great company. If you enter an order for Trainer through Distributor Central, you get $5 off that order. There are a bunch of suppliers that if you enter your orders through their order tracking system, they will give you $5 off an order. If you're going to enter the order, you might as well get the $5. Not a lot of money, but it is. $5 is a lot of money, but don't give up that money. Just like I'm showing you those little can, uh, zipper can, uh, zipper drink holders. That it's not really the time of the year for those, but I think those are really cool. Let's say you had an order with them, you enter them with Distributor Central, you get $5 back. And if you really want to be professional, 
you can use their pro version. That is not a free version as Distributor Central is. You pay for that service, but what you get is adjusted pricing, product pricing. You can get a Google product feed and virtual sample sampling. So if you want to move to the next level on that web hosting business, Distributor Central has exactly what you need. Now let's talk about qualifying prospects while we network. I don't go out and talk to people about religion or politics, even though I can do it without arguing. I think it's kind of interesting, but when I go to a networking event, I have a goal. I have a set number of conversations that I want to talk to people about. I want to know if they're the decision maker. If they tell me that they can put me in touch with them, I think that's a lie. They're just trying to get rid of me. I avoid them. And then I follow up. And if nothing happens, I move on and I go to another networking event and I look for another group of prospects. If I go to a neighborhood happy hour for the local chamber, I can talk to 30 people. I guarantee you I'll find five interested in talking to me. And of that five, I'll sell two. Because remember, I get to the point. I find out the facts. I'm not asking them how much to buy, how many to buy, price and all that. I'm finding out the facts or can you buy? Are you interested? Are you the decision maker? That's finding out the facts. And one cool thing that I've even done at these events is Logo Mats is a great mat supplier. They've done outdoor mats with my logo on it. You can see right there in front of that door. That's not my office door. That's just where they put that for the presentation. But I'll buy, I'll, I have one of those mats. I will go to a chamber event, lay that mat out on the floor and stand on it. And you talk about getting attention. People will come up to me and say, Don, what are you doing? Well, what I'm doing is what I just did. I got their attention. So buy some mats from Logo Mats, and when you go to an event, unroll that thing and put it out on the floor and see what happens. Nothing bad's gonna happen, and there's a great 5% off an order coupon from Logo Mats. I'm not joking about rolling that mat out and talking about it. Now, I ask prospects, how many do you need? Just like I talked to you about the cloth promotions, lens cleaning cloths, I'll just roll that, that all those things out, clean those glasses. Well, here are two products from AdMatch that are very pertinent for right now. It is winter time. Here in Dallas, it's 30 degrees. For us, that's cold since it was 76 here Sunday. If you're in a northern part of the country, you know how cold it is. People get sick, they get the flu. Bacteria fighting wet wipes and Kleenex, or not Kleenex, let's say tissues, with your logo on it. There's two great offers here from AdMatch. I'm telling you, if you want to sell every prospect and customer next year, you've got to have creative self promos. It's not going to work with a card. That's why I'm pressing on this. This stuff is important. And look right there in the center. You see, there's another version with one of my Santa pictures. Don Sanders wishes you the best holidays ever. I mail those to people as my holiday greeting card. Phil at adMatch.com. He can help you with this. Take advantage of it. It is a great self promo. Here's another creative self promo from Jimpire. This, these are seed paper business cards. Take that thing and plant it in the, in the ground and it'll grow flowers or plant it in a pot. Say, hey, you know what? Let me help you grow your business. Something corny like that. I know it's kind of sounds kind of silly, but people like stuff like that. Seed paper self promo cards, Harvey at jimpire.com. Harvey's one of the best suppliers in the industry. And here's a thing that I found in Counselor Magazine years back that 70% of salespeople in this industry who use creative are, are no, it's not said, it's people that use, I'm getting carried away here, I apologize. People who use self promotions that are creative outsell those who don't 70% of the time. I got it right that time. And there's a great coupon from Jim Pyre right there. Seed paper business cards. Pretty creative, I think. Never be a junk seller. There's too many already. There are too many trashy salespeople in this industry that will just sell anything. They'll sell any kind of junk just because they sell it on price. That is cutting your own throat, 
to be a successful distributor. Junk seller to me is somebody who makes statements on their cards like, call us for quotes. We match any price. Thousands of product choices. No charge for rush service. Discount on first order. Everything's about price. I have never sold on price in my life. People that want to buy price, they can go buy from somebody else. What I'm looking for is people that pay me full price, that value what I do and do business with me because they need it done right and they need a good product. And I walk away from people that say, well, can you give me a quote on that? I don't give quotes. I give prices. So don't be a junk seller. And the supplier that's not a junk seller in the electronic business is Sunjoy. Down there at the bottom of the screen, there's a $25 off an order coupon from Sunjoy. I know Harrison Feud that owns that supplier ship, or that's, not, that's probably bad grammar, that owns that supplier. They are not a junk seller. Like, is this a junk seller here? I got this the other day. This is Molly from Big Box Promo. I'm not saying anything about them, but I don't want to buy from Molly. I would tell you, look at those products she's got or she's pitching. I would run away from Molly as fast as possible because can you imagine how long those things will work? Maybe five minutes. I'm not saying that this is not a great product. It could be, but I'm not taking the chance by buying from a supplier who I do not know. And if we're talking about electronics, that would be for Sunjoy. They've never had a product recall. A lot of these electronic suppliers have big, big suppliers. You remember those mega suppliers I was talking about? They don't want to admit it, but they've had recalls of 100,000 power banks. I don't want to have to call my customer and say, you know what? We're going to have to pick those power banks up or those chargers because they have bad batteries. That does not happen with Sunjoy. They've never had a product recall. I'm pushing this because you are going to get yourself in a jam if you sell shoddy products because you have to because you're selling on price. And there's their 800 number, 847 9838055, Sunjoy will always treat you right, just like Quickie. Junk suppliers never invent anything. Quickie is a wonderful supplier. Mike Burns owns that company. Mike Stiller runs Quickie. They invented the Quickcoin, and this is really cool to know. This is like 1946, 1948 that they invented the quick coin, the little uh, vinyl uh, holders that you pop open. You used to put quarters or coins in them. Now you can put all kinds of small things in them. I use them to carry pills. Like if I go to a trade show and I need to take my, my, uh, my vitamins in the morning, they won't recommend you do this, but I, I do it anyway. I'll put them in there and they'll hold it in my briefcase or in my backpack. This is a great little cool product. You want something fun to show your customers. Quick Oin, which was PPA said, PPAI says product of the century. Great item. M Stiller at quickie.com. Send you a sample of that. Now look at this guy right here. He kind of looks like Jerry Jones of the Dallas Cowboys. I watched the Cowboys play Sunday. I was actually for the Rams. I'm so tired of Jerry, Jerry Jones and uh, Jason Garrett. Kind of reminds me of that. They'll sell you anything. We just don't produce a very good product, but they did win on Sunday. I don't know what to say about that, but I'm saying protect yourself from junk sellers. I sell promotional products and let me sell you cheap umbrellas and bad water. You are, if you try and outsell a guy like that, you're going to get yourself in trouble. And two of the biggest product lines in the industry that have junk sellers are people that sell umbrellas and people that sell bottled water. And here's why. A distributor loses an order on umbrellas. Let's say you quoted $12 and somebody comes in with a $7 umbrella. Well, don't lay down and die on it because you don't know the difference. Well, do you know that umbrellas have 70 working parts? Distributors don't know that. Do you know they have cheap versions, have steel ribs, spreaders, etc. They're not windproof if they're out on the golf course and if they have fiberglass, they, they have to have fiberglass or wood sh shafts, not steel. You can get, lightning will hit you. And low quality suppliers use inferior tips. When you lose an order on an umbrella sale, ask your, your, your customer, do you know about these things? They're gonna say, no, Don, nobody ever told me. Well, that's how knowledge stops objections. Southern Plus does a great job on umbrellas, remember they have that 24 hour service, 
you can email Kathy at southernplus.com and she'll send you an umbrella sample or talk to you about it. And there's a great 5% off an order coupon from Sunjoy. Now, how about this? Do you get that look from people when they say, your price is too high? Look how shocked they are. Well, what is the answer to your price is too high? Well, there are several answers. And at the end of this webinar, I'm gonna tell you if you'll email me, I'll tell you all the ones I use. But the main one I use is it never comes up in the first place because I use product knowledge to stop objections. I talk about Alexa Springs. Every one of my water, every one of these water, every one of these webinars, because people do not understand product differences. That's why objections come up because they can't defend their price. I always can defend my price because I'll say, well, is what you're going to buy USA made? Uh, et cetera, et cetera. But with water, do you know that 50% of the bottled water sold in this industry was sewer water? You see that water coming up up there? That water goes into creeks, streams, lakes. A lot of times that water goes into a water treatment plant you're seeing down here at the bottom. The average age of water treatment plants in America is 47 years old. They're not too current. Or Alexis Springs up in Mount Ida, Arkansas, has water come out of the Washita National Forest, goes into those little white houses you're seeing there, pumped into those 100,000 gallon stainless steel tanks that are brand new, into that green building. That water is bottled and comes out of the ground almost pure. It is filtered to get any impurity out of it, but that water is not coming out of a sewer pipe or a water treatment plant like 50% of the bottled water you're trying to sell. And right here, two miles from me, this came up in, in the Dallas Morning News about putrid liquids pouring into the Trinity River just south of downtown. That's where I live. Feet, feeded fluid or whatever that mess is coming. I don't want water that had that in it at any time. And the thing that you don't know, most water pipes in the city Cities are over 100 years old and they are rusty. And do you know the difference between purified water? That's that 50% that was sewer water. Now that water won't kill you. It is safe to drink, but it tastes terrible. And even the thought of me selling my customers water that was putrid or came out of those old water pipes, I just can't do it. Where spring water is natural, it comes out of the ground and it's Look at that fresh water coming out of that blue pipe. And there's a great skip a column prize from Alexis Springs. It's 866-291-3446. I'm almost through with bottled water. Please stay with me on this. This is very important. Those 50% of bottled water suppliers that you are competing against might say, oh, I'm cheaper than Joe. But when you're Joe, you come back and tell your customer, well, can they put on their label natural water, pure water, et cetera, et cetera. They can't put it on there because it, they, they, they're not selling that product. But Alexis Springs has seven shipping locations, alexissprings.com. You can get samples from Brian at alexissprings.com. And if you're going to the ASI Orlando show, uh, PPA out of Las Vegas, uh, PPA ASI Fort Worth, which I'm going to all those shows. So if you're going, I'd love to meet you. Alexis Springs will be at all three. Now, let me show you how I sold, stole an account by talking about water. Grand Bank is the bank I bank up here. They were giving away water. They said purified water by reverse osmosis and oxygenated. Oxygenated. I didn't even know what that was for taste and purity, so I found out that is sewer water or water from a water treatment plant that has had every mineral taken out of it and is bottled in that bottle. I said, Robert Gossett, who I dealt with, I said, you can't be giving this to people. I said, that you know, y'all are up here getting people to, you know, think y'all are a great bank and you're giving them bad water. So I sold them bottled water from Alexis Springs that says, we cherish your health. So the water included is the finest quality, natural spring water. They started pointing that out to their customers as a selling point 
about how much they cared for their customers. And I stole that account simply by the fact of selling a better quality water. Now you've got to maintain standards. Most distributors do not. What I'm saying is you've got to have a strong brand presence. Stand up for your beliefs. That is misspelled right there. It should be B-E-L-I-E-F-S. I just saw that. Sorry. Never be intimidated by the person that says you're too high or you can bid on our orders. Just say, I don't do that. Walk away from bad orders. Don't take it just to beat your distributor competitor. Eliminate bad customers and never use suspect suppliers. A lot of those being these mega suppliers that copy products and will sell you anything. And there is a free setup charge from Pepco Promotional. Pepco is in Wharton. And a trivia about them is I believe they make every megaphone for every college cheerleader in America. I went down to see their factory a couple of months ago and it was really neat. In little Wharton, Texas, they make all these cheerleader supplies and sports products and who would have thunk it? Now, always be first. Now, 2020 new products are coming out. This is a pitch from Southern Plus, which we've talked about. These are their new products showing where they're gonna be at ASI Orlando PPAI Expo. Go see them. Greta Adams owns that company. She's a woman-owned business, really bright. She's great, great products. But there are their new products that you can start showing your customers now. I like the little red man. He's first. He's going to look the best with customers. And there's your 5% off an order coupon for Southern Plus. Now, selling one creates forever clients. Now, let me tell you about that. I have started a lot of big clients by selling one piece, one mat, just one mat. I only sold Grand Bank one mat to start, but they had four locations. They bought five mats for each location. So I ended up selling 21 mats from a start of one mat. Same thing selling retirement communities. My ex-wife's mother and mother lived at Parkwood. I sold them one mat. I sold Parkwood four more. Well, tell us his own Parkwood. There were 21 properties. I sold 15 of those properties mats. All started with one mat from logo mats. How about one tattoo? One transfer? One sticker? Sticker you will do one of everything. Michael at StickerU.com. They're in Toronto, Canada. I met them at ASI Chicago last year. They do a wonderful job. So if you're looking for one transfer, one sticker, one tattoo, sticker you can do it for you. They're computer tattoos. I'm talking about millennial products. A lot of people don't know what to sell millennials. They love computer tattoos. I call them computer tattoos. They are really computer stickers but you can order stickers or tattoos. At, well, not tattoos, they're not gonna go on your computer, but stickers will. You can get a sample kit of tattoos or computer stickers, Michael at stickeru.com. Now let's talk about rush orders. Strong supplier relationships make rush orders possible. A lot of distributors don't understand. They don't pay their bills on time, they don't approve proofs on time. Well, if I'm a supplier, I'm going to get tired of you. But when you call me and want a rush order, I'm going to think, well, you know, old Ernie's not paying us on time. He's so slow. We're not going to fool with this. I make it a point to pay my bills. In 10 days, we approve everything that we get from the supplier immediately. And Amazon has created a tremendous rush order on demand. I am telling you, I order things from Amazon and I want it that day now. I don't even want to wait one day. I need it now. And you're going, it's just going to become more prevalent as we go forward. So don't deal with mega suppliers. They change service reps all the time, and you can't bond with them. You can't call them off the phone and say, Tony, you know what? I've got an order here. I've been paying my bills on time. Can you turn it for me in three days? If you've got strong relationships, you can do that. Like Drumline, I know them really well. They would help me out in a heartbeat. Just like Cloth Promotions have these cool swipes, the little uh, small things that stick on your phone to click them. 
to clean them up. Those are two suppliers that will help you out if you have strong relationships with them. Now, I bet a bunch of you don't post on LinkedIn or Facebook, and you need to post case studies. Get a supplier that you've done well with, have a story made up, make a big headline, brief, brief summary of what you accomplish in the promotion. Send that out, make it a routine. That means you're always having a new case study come out. Tout endorsements. If somebody says you did a good job, that's testimonial marketing. I used to cover that on my, in these webinars and I'm gonna start doing it again, but my endorsements were from customers that said, Don, you did a good job and I keep at it. That means I post and I post and I post. So if you're not posting on LinkedIn or Facebook, you need to do that and you need to do it frequently. And there's a great free setup from AdBatch and I'm telling you why. Rental mats are ridiculously expensive. So if you're going to call on people and they say, well, we rent our mats. Well, that's great. You're renting an old cheap mat that is dirty all the time because the mat rental company doesn't come out there and clean it enough. The mat is sorry. It's no good. So I posted this on my Facebook account at one time about floor mat rental and how much money you're throwing away. Mat accounts are easy to get if you explain the difference. Logo mats, mats will last for you know, let's say three or four years or two years, you can buy one of those mats for three hundred dollars. A, a mat rental company is mat your is renting mats to your customer for thirty five dollars a month. Well, that's three hundred sixty dollars a year. You are saving your customer money by talking them out of the mat rental business. And remember, big headlines and LinkedIn will do that. Here's some more information about mats, about the appearance, the labor to clean them how health is affected because of pollution. Mats will pull dirty germs down instead of up, and it'll tell you exactly about the hazards of having cheap mats. Point this stuff out to your customers and you'll get mat business. And Logo Mats has a great little sample kit. It has a sample of a one foot mat. It's really neat. And they have great catalogs. If you'd like to have that, you can get that from customer service at Logo Mats llc.com and there's their sample kit request it's a great little thing they'll send it to you at no charge it'll help you get some orders here's another steal with facts i took that uh, mat business that i that water business i got from grand bank they were also renting their mats and so not only were they buying foul water but they're renting mats i said why are you doing that i sold them these great little mats there's those welcome grand bank that's a rubberized uh heavy duty mat, same thing. I sold the mats for all of their locations, just like I did the bottled water. You can get samples from M. Wadsworth at logomatsllc.com. And the one good thing I love about logo mats is they'll put your name on the back of the mats. And I actually got an order from somebody who picked up that mat and went in the bank and said, who in the heck is Don Sanders marketing? And they call me and I sold them a mat. Now let's stay away from cheap people. Look at that guy, does he not look miserable? I always judge people by how entertaining they were. Would you wanna get in a car and ride 500 miles with that guy? Can you imagine how boring he is? But he's cheap. He's never gonna let that piggy bank go. Don't waste time on lame buyers. You get somebody who's cheap, get away from them. But look at that great 3M self-promotion coupon right there. I started selling uh, 3M posting notes back in 1985. Uh, that was a long time ago. And I did wonderfully with those uh, with posting notes. And there's a, a great little thing where you can get, uh, I think, 500 notes for $50. Now, you never be a cheap seller. Stop competing on price. If you're competing on price, you're a loser because you cannot sustain that. You sell on price, you might win the battle, but you're gonna lose the war because if you start selling cheap, they're always gonna want it cheaper. So don't be a cheap seller. Don't have the lowest prices of the year. Look for full price customers and avoid tariff suppliers in 2020. I am telling you, this is this tariff thing, I don't care what is going on with this. I read this morning that they've approved that trade deal, but who knows what's happening with that. That, uh, that uh, thing that says right there, important notice, prices quoted are based on available inventory. 
I pulled that off a supplier website five months ago. This thing below here in the blue, I just got that last week about they're going to try. They, they were committed to holding their prices, but now they might have a price increase, blah, blah, blah. They don't even know what prices are going to sell at. And you don't want your orders in those containers coming over here. And the way to not do that is to sell for non-tariff suppliers like Pepco. The Megaphone Company, they're down here in Wharton, Texas. Those cups that are on special right there, it's a great deal. Those cups are made in America and they're printed down in Wharton. There's not any tariff price on that. Those cups are that price. They're not, Pepco's not putting out a thing that says, you know, we might raise the cup prices. We don't know about tariffs. They're made in Wharton, Texas. Pepco has American made products. You're not gonna get that changing price mess with them. And you can get American made samples from C. Victorin. That's Christy Victorin. She's a fine person at pepcopalms.com. And there's a great free setup charge. Quickie is an American made supplier. I am pushing these suppliers on you because I'm telling you, if you're going to sell and you're going to be successful, you've got to have products that can be delivered and you've got to have a consistent price. USA made samples. M. Stiller at quickie.com. They're the ones that make the quick coins. They also make wonderful luggage and bag tags, key tags, magnets, zipper pulls. If you'll email Mike Stiller at quickie.com, he'll also send you their 2000 catalog, 2020 catalog, which just came out. Here are two more American made suppliers, no tariff products. That's Quickie's catalog, which I just talked to you about. Logo match right here, US made. If you want to order catalogs from them, there are their email addresses. Burlicamp and Drumline. Burlicamp is up in Ohio. Drumline's up there in Stuttgart, Arkansas. That's the duck calling place. G. Addison, Gaddison at drum-line.com and sales at burlicamp.com. And there's Burlicamp's 2020 catalog, but I've got all the pictures of their past catalogs going back, good grief, to like 1950. There's their 1957 catalog and their 1994. And my last webinar, I showed the uh, pictures of their old trade show booths and their old catalogs, and they're just really cool. Burlicamp is a great supplier. 3M, I work with them. They see the original Post-it notes. These don't come off like these cheap knockoff note people. There's a bunch of them. Their, their notes just don't stick. And they'll tell you that they will stick, but they won't. But 3M has a laptop skins. This is a brand new product for those millennials. They have those Scotch lint removers. Those are really cool. And these extreme notes, those are notes that will stick to cold and hot surfaces. They will stick to frozen pipes. They will stick to concrete. If you don't know about that product, it came out last year. And if you want 2020 catalogs, and samples of those, it's SJ Made at 3mpromote.com. And let's talk about getting bonding and working networking right. I work election all the time. I don't really care about politics anymore. It's so crazy. But I'll go work a local election, city council, mayor, those congressmen around here. I do that to meet prospects. You want to meet like-minded people, you can just go say, well, good grief. Who are you buying your promotional products from? Oh, well, I buy from them. And I've said to people, well, I wonder who they're going to vote for. I've actually stolen accounts from people by saying, oh, my goodness, I heard that they're going to vote for so-and-so. Just kind of making that up to be funny. They'll go, are you kidding me? And I'll go, yeah, but, you know, really didn't. But I wonder who they really are going to vote for. You want to meet like-minded people. You go to networking events where people are that think like you. And you work elections, you'll get some good action. And there's a little story about the I Voted sticker, how where it started in the 1980s to get people to go out and vote. And not only did it help people vote, but it got business for companies who gave those stickers out. And sticker you will do one. There's a 10% off order on them. Sticker Sample Kit is Michael at StickerU.com. It's a great little supplier when you need short runs or you need something creative. Now, Trainer is in Indiana. This is another American-made company. 
Jamie H. at trainergraphics.com. If you want their new catalog, there's a free die charge and a, or on the screen right now, and they're having an NQP pricing on their white napkins right now. And they have cool little books, like a top 25 bestsellers. You can order those, and you can include those in your invoices when you mail them. Now let's talk about selling the seasons. You want to create a sense of urgency. You sell products for the winter, spring, summer, and fall. So obviously right now we're the winter. There's a snowboarder. I wish I could do that. I never have tried that. I don't think I could. I don't think I would do well at that. But that guy looks, or it's a, I don't know if it's a man or a woman, but they look pretty, pretty athletic there. They are at, at a winter resort. Now, wouldn't a blanket for them be great? A lot of distributors make the sales, they sell food gifts, like for the holidays or things like that. Food gifts are kind of an old school product to me because you eat them up and they're gone. I would rather have like a Sherpa fleece blanket or a Himalayan throw. That is a product that you give to your customers. They're going to keep that thing forever. And just like those matches I talked to you about, if they get cold one day in their house, or how about if that power goes out, they're going to love that customer that gave them that blanket more than they are the one that gave them some food products and those blankets are from southernplus.com and there is their coupon remember they're the ones that do the quick orders now for spring i talked to you about the seed paper coffee wraps i'm going on too much about this but i like this seed paper stuff because i like the environment and i like plants Harvey at Jimpire.com. Harvey is one of the nicest men, and he is so intelligent. And if you've got, a, if you're needing ideas, and you want to email Harvey, he will take the time and will tell you what to sell them, and he will do it in a kind way. And this seed paper coffee wrap is a very cool product. And there's how you would get a sample emailing Harvey at Jimpire. A lot of people buy the motorcycle and cycle markets. I am telling you, Kickpad stands from Burla Camp be a great spring and summer product. They, they call these hockey pucks or pucks. They're the thing that your Kickpad stand go down on. These things will last forever. They embed that logo in them with that, I, I don't know what you're gonna call it, die cast plastic, I don't know what we would call it but it is a wonderful product for people, for motorcycle runs, anybody who does bike races, bike events, and you can get kick pad samples from sales at burlacamp.com, and there's a free money coupon for Burlacamp on the screen right now. Now I wanna to talk to you about gamer pads. ID Line, Eric Johnson owns Air, uh, ID Line, they're American made. They're up there in Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. Gamer pads are the next thing. Mouse pads and computer pads have been hot and are hot, but gaming business is never going away. So if you're looking for a really cool product for millennials or your more high tech customers, gamer pads are brand new. Now they can make these things any size you want. A lot of these gamers have really big pads. Brand new product from ID Line, and if you'd like to have ID Line catalogs, uh, they're great for name badges and all these other cool products, and they're family owned. And Eric Johnson, he doesn't mess around. He's a great guy, and he makes sure those orders go out right. You can email janders at idline.com and get you a sample of gamer pads, it's gonna be a hot new product. Summer and fall, I would sell calendars, a little late to sell calendars right now, but Drumline, the duck calling people, they would be who I would order a sample kit from. Summer tailgating and fall coming up when uh, that comes up with summer would be for baseball, start of the football season. Uh, Southern Plus has all those products for that market and remember they've got the 24 hour products when you in the fall sell trainer graphics products their new color uh product selection are these beautiful fall colors and they're needed for thanksgiving corporate events church get togethers reunions large picnics neighborhood events that's a really beautiful product line and jamie h trainer graphics.com 
she can send you those samples and there's a nice little die charge up there. Next holiday season, sell mats. I'm telling you, holiday mats are a big deal. You could also sell them for next Thanksgiving. You could sell them for Halloween. They've got Halloween mats. They have six product selections on uh, happy holidays, Merry Christmas mats. I don't think they can do them now. Maybe they could, but next year you could contact Miles at Logo Mats LLC and sell those mats. Now, event selling creates urgency. So one event I'm gonna focus on is Earth Day in 2020 is the 50th anniversary of that event. And I like to pick up cans around the neighborhood when I walk, I pick up trash. I think we should do that as a responsible person. And I like the environment and I love to go to Earth Day things. It's pretty interesting. But Gempire has got great Earth Day hit products and these are these seed paper products. <clears throat> They've got coasters, note cards, those business cards we talked about. So if you need seed paper samples, it's Harvey at Gempire.com. Event selling because you've got to sell a date. You know what? This is April 22nd. It's April 1st. You tell your customer, buddy, we got to get on with this. You know what? I can't get you that your stuff unless you give me the order by this date. A lot of distributors make the error of not doing dated sales but selling and they let their customer grind them down to the last moment just like selling events and a sell and celebrations there were a lot of holiday runs and events around dallas and pepco makes these goofy foam hats that are so absolutely cool so saint patrick's day is going to come up how about that as an item Fourth of July is going to be an item. Memorial, well, let's say Memorial Day goes before Fourth of July. Next October is Awareness Month for breast cancer. Awareness. What if you have a customer right now that wants to buy Happy New Year products? Pepco can turn those Happy New Year foam hats. They are great for events. And the greatest thing about them is they make your customers make a decision. We can't get St. Patrick's Day products a week after St. Patrick's Day, you're gonna to have to close the order ahead of time. It gives you a way to make your customer act. And you wanna email C. Victorin at pepcopons.com. I bet you Christy would send you one of these samples today. How about her sending you one of those Happy New Year samples? I bet I'd ask her for that. And there's that free screen from Pepco. Now there's the holiday events that we talked about, the runs and walks, tree ridings, Holiday next October, next September. Start thinking about these 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 events. Don't offer the same old T-shirts, calves, cheap bags that they buy for these things. How about those antler hats or that little Santa hat? There's the Jingle Bell Run that was here in Dallas back in December. I went and called on them, and I sold them some of these things, and they just loved them. Get away from selling these same old things again. See Victorian at pepcopalms.com. Admatch has these refreshment towels. This is a brand new product. This is great for charity runs, reunions, golf tournaments, hotel activities, anything outdoor related. It's great for construction safety programs, realtor gifts, Uber Lyft drivers, vehicle dealers. This is a brand new thing for uh, Admatch, just like the tissues and the wet knives. Wet wipes, but these are refreshment towels. You can get those on a self promotion item. I love Ad Match's creative products that keep you healthier. And you can get those samples from Phil at AdMatch.com. New products, there's that. Uh, I've talked a lot about Southern Plus, but I'm going to tell you where you find new products besides getting these flyers like I'm showing you. You maintain good supplier relationships. I've had suppliers call me and give me leads before because I pay my bills and I'm responsive. They'll say, Don, we don't sell direct. We've got a lead that's come in. You want to handle it. I get those because I have good supplier relationships. I use Distributor Central to find really cool products. I attend the first year lease shows. I'm going to go to those three shows. I'm attentive. I, 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 I keep in contact with my customers. I know what they want. And I think away from my comfort zone. It's just like for the winter products. Instead of selling uh, holiday gifts, selling those old food items, I would have tried to sell those blankets from Southern Plus. 
And I'm going to talk about avoiding mega suppliers. And what is so important about this is Harvey Mackler owns Gempire. You can call Harvey on the phone after this webinar, 813-902-2691. He's going to talk to you. He owns that company. You can email Harvey at Gempire.com. Do you think one of these huge suppliers owner, they don't care about you. They don't even go to those factories. They just sit somewhere and manage them. Mega suppliers have inventory problems sometimes. They have those price changes. They have poor customer service many times, late deliveries because the customer service people are flipping all the time. Gempire, Drumline, Petco, Alexis Springs, people like that, suppliers like that, they don't have that flip turnover with customer service people. You're going to get better service, just like here with Gempire. Unconditional product guarantee, on-time deliver. Harvey lives up to that. And I guess the point I can make is who has the better burger? Burger King or that nice little family-owned hamburger stand? Remember, you can call Harvey Mackler on the phone. Here's Ken Burlicamp. I talked to him about those motorcycle kickback stands. That company started in 1929. His, uh, I think that's his grandfather. Uh, that's when it was called the novelty industry. And there to the left at the bottom, I think that's his dad and his mother sitting in a booth about 1950. There's Ken at a trade show when I guess he looks like he's 11 or 12 maybe. Then here he is over at a PPAI show and he looks about 25. Those mega suppliers, they don't have this kind of history. And there's Ken today. A fine man he is. And they're family owned and more dependable. Just like Quickie. We're back on these quick coins again. But Quickie's imprints last. They do not rub. Their magnets are strong. They have no peeling of the imprint. No job hopping customer service reps. They're in Akron, Ohio. They acknowledge your orders. They won all these dadgum awards on the screen. I'm not going to go on, on for you, on for you, but M. Stiller at quickie.com for that quickie stuff. Now let's talk about emotional intelligence. A lot of distributors don't even know what emotional intelligence is. Emotions cause sales. And if you use emotional intelligence, you'll be able to qualify and eliminate customers that are not suitable from you and ones you don't want to fool with because people get emotional and they lose their intelligence because they think, oh goodness, if I just come down another three cents on my order, I'm going to get that order and I got a new customer. But you're not thinking it right. If you don't stand for something, the person's not going to admire you and they're going to think, oh, I can beat them up anytime on their price. So use emotional intelligence. Sell for ad match. Sell for Alexis Springs. Alexis Springs is not the cheapest water, but when somebody says, well, I don't want to pay that, I just say, well, you know what? I wouldn't give my customers that water you're selling or you're buying. I've actually sold that to people because I'm not ever going to deal with them again, but use emotional intelligence. Do business, I'm gonna hurry through this now, do the rest of the webinar, do business where you do business. I sell mats, I sell places to people that I do business. I've sold those mats to Parkwood that I told you about. My, my, my uh, ex-wife's mother was in a retirement home. I've sold them to diners I've eaten at. I've sold mats to hospitals. So when you're doing business with people, you do business with them, just like your vet. I've got three dogs over here and I do a trade out with my vet. I do mats, I've done balloons, I've done name badges, I do all kinds of stuff for my vet, and I trade out with my vet for my products for their services. So if you're not trading out with your vet, ask them. After all, you're giving them money, they can give you money back. Same way where you go to get your pizza, same way you go to the dry cleaners. M. Wadsworth at logomats.com for those pet mats. Now, let me give you some specific ways to sell. I'm almost finished here. Please stay with me because I've got these email addresses you're going to want at the end. And I've got a book I've just done, and I'll send you a, a free sample chapter. If you just stay with me, I'll show you how to do that. Where you buy your car, who works on your car. When you go there, talk to them about bottled water. The reason be being is vehicle dealers 
do a lot. They buy a lot of bottled water. Great to leave in the cup holder when you go pick up your car, when it has been worked on, like the woman is looking at the estimate, she's probably thinking, oh my goodness, it's that much. Well, that person right there should give her a bottle of water or put it in that cup holder when she drives out, just like I was talking about that salesman having bottled water. Brian at AlexisSprings.com will get you bottled water samples for auto dealers. Now let's talk about going to the dentist. I went to the dentist two weeks ago, got my teeth cleaned, and there's the pictures of the past uh, toothbrushes I've got. There's four, three that there was a single pack. Last time they gave me a double pack. I've had enough toothbrushes. I don't need toothbrushes. I don't use those kind of toothbrushes. I have an electric toothbrush. But what in the world is up with dentists and giving you these toothbrushes? How about something besides another brush? How about bottled water? You get your teeth cleaned or you get your child gets their braces worked on, you're thirsty. How about doing bottled water? Susan Holler, DDS, right down here, was giving away sparklets water, claiming that it was good water. It was all right, but I just sold her bottled water with her logo. There is their label, and on the end of that label is we are offering you the finest water we can because we love you as a customer. Brian at AlexisSprings.com can help you sell Dennis bottled water. Who washes your car? You go to the car wash, Don't they, shouldn't they give you a bottle of water when you drive through there or at the end? They can put bottled water in cup holders. You can call on detail shops, valet parkers. I know I've been to a lot of charity events where you drink a lot of wine. You go out to go home, nice bottle of water by the valet parker left in there. I guarantee you I'm going to drink it on the way home. Auto dealers, car repair, Brian at AlexisSprings.com. And just like going to the dry cleaners, my goodness, doesn't the dry cleaner you do business with, shouldn't they do bottle of water for you with you too? Do you need help with company stores? Tiffany Tarr, there she is. She's a fine person. You need company store information. It's TTAR at distributorcentral.com. She'll do the demo for you and tell you how to do the store. I've known her for 10 years. I trust her. Mailing promotions keeps you in front of customers. 90% of distributors do not employ consistent mailing programs. They don't mail anything in the first place. I make flyer sheets out. I have self promotions with my logo on it. I've talked to you about all of them that I mail. Harvey Mackler has certain little self-promotions that he can do for you, like the little, uh, I guess that's a bookmark up there, seed paper cards, Harvey at gympire.com. He's got great mailing programs. Southern Plus has 40 flyer choices on their website that you can customize your with your logo on it. The one up at the top, I believe on the right, has got my Don Sanders marketing logo on it. You can go to their website, southernplus.com, download your logo, and it will place that on this flyer. You can take that, put it on a, on a flash drive, take it up to a uh, office supply, and run you 100 copies of them very reasonably and mail these things to people constantly. Now, I'm almost finished. Three slides to go, and I want to tell you that the biggest mistake distributors make is selling wrong prospects. There's the wrong way to sell. You need to qualify up front. Don't deal with bad communicators, even from the start. Don't deal with a non-decision maker, the one that says, well, I'll pass your name along. They're lying like a dog. They're not doing it. They're telling you to get rid of you. Those who require bids, when somebody says to me, well, we're taking bids, I'll go, no, thank you. I get distributors all the time filling out bid sheets saying, well, Don, what do you think we should bid? I don't want to make 13% on an order and get slow paid. A lot of those companies that require bids are going to slow pay you. You do an order at 14%, they take 90 days to pay it, you've lost money. I don't deal with idea shoppers. Don't call me up and have me give you ideas and then go buy from somebody else. That's why I only sell people that I have relationships that I've met. So don't make those mistakes. 
But something you should do is use that Burla Camp coupon or that Quickie coupon. Now, I have a sample chapter from this book. I end every one of these webinars with this, How to Sell Promotional Products. I've got a book I've done. It's 10 chapters, I think, or 11 chapters. Harvey at Jim Pyre is going to send you that chapter. Absolutely no obligation. You don't have to buy anything. I'm not going to pester you. All I expect out of you is I'd like you to buy something from Jim Pyre because I like Harvey. And if you want that copy of that book and you want those, remember I was going to talk to you about answering those objections. I'll tell you some other answer objections, answers. <clears throat> you can get those, the replay and the book chapter by emailing me don at sellproboproducts.com. There are the email addresses for all of the suppliers I've talked about, like the outdoor mat samples from Logo Mats, Sackle kick pad stands from Burla Camp. You want the, a calendar sample kit, remember, from Stuttgart, Arkansas, the duck people, that's Gaddison at drum line.com. There they all are, distributorcentral.com. Tiffany can do the uh, company store demo for you or help you with your website. I love those seed paper coffee wraps from Jim Pyre, Just One Stickers, Michael, it's Sticker You, Blanket Umbrella Samples from Kathy at Southern Plus, and 3M, 3M 2020 catalogs are out. And remember those extreme notes, and also I talked to you about those uh, skins for computers, and they also have some other great products. That's Stephanie Madej, the SJ Madej at 3mpromote.com. I'm going to leave this up on the screen for a while while I be quiet here. I've talked myself to death. I've talked as fast as I could. I want to thank you for listening to me. And all I can think say is I'm honored you take the time to listen to me and putting up with me. And I hope you have a great holiday or a very Merry Christmas. And I hope if your college football team is in the bowl game, they win. I'm sorry to say that my Horned Frogs, TCU, were five and seven. They have not qualified for a bowl, but they did the best they could. That's the end of this webinar. Email me anytime. I would love to help you. Thanks so much for listening.